After more than 20 years, a sequel to Nollywood, uh, the Nollywood classic, Rattlesnake, is set to hit the cinemas. This is coming exactly one year after the sequel to another Nollywood classic, Living in Bondage, made Nollywood fans, many of them of course, proud uh, at the box office as it hit a major record, making a whooping 50 million naira in its opening week. The sequel is exclusively produced by uh, Charles Okpalike, a film uh, uh, producer and the co-founder of Play Network Africa. This time, Rattlesnake is a three-part Nollywood movie released in 1995. Some of the cast of Rattlesnake include, uh, of course, uh, Omotala Jalade Kende, Osasi Godaro, Stan Nze, Gloria Young, and it's uh, directed by Ramsey Noah. Uh, joining us uh, now to, of course, uh, share uh, more on this is Elsie Godwin. Uh, thank you so much for thank stopping you for by having and for joining me. us. Mm -hmm. Um, a lot of people are excited, you know, about Rattlesnake, mm -hmm. mostly because of, you know, the success of Living in Bondage. Mm -hmm. And for those who still have memories of, you know, who were you know, old enough in 1995 to watch Ahana um, and that era, uh, era of Nollywood, this is, this is great news. Mm -hmm. um, the fear, of course, is I hope that it doesn't disappoint. I hope that it brings back the same nostalgia, uh -huh. you know, the same emotions. So, so tell us about what this one is likely to turn out like. Um, so this one, we hope, should um, make us as proud as Living in Bondage did because um, we had our reservations as well when we had there was going to be a remake of Living in Bondage, bringing right. the old stories back. So um, since this was, this is also done by the same person who did Living in Bondage, then I'm ha I have really high hopes um, for this one. And I think we need something like this at this time because right. um, the nation has gone through a lot. And um, I think this is the time for us to be able to have content that would um, bring memories of when, um, should I say, we had more unity and more hope for Nigeria, right. you know, so. Yeah, mm -hmm. I'm looking forward to... I mean, it's good how the way you put it there, because I was just going to ask you, is it good news or bad news that this is coming at this time? Like a distraction, maybe. Yes, it is in absolutely mind. good news mm -hmm. because we need this distraction. And you know, so many people, even if you say you're below 30, you probably watched Rattlesnake as a child. Mm -hmm. you, you you maybe cannot remember everything. And of course, I advise that you go back to <laughs> catch I'm up really. before it hits the <laughs> cinema, because yeah. I would definitely do that. But um, this is part of of the movies that we would say had our indigenous story. Right. Um, it's a story about Ahana, a boy who lost his father and now had to be forced into um, a life of crime. So it's mm -hmm. It's a story we definitely need to see. And I have this very strong feeling that it also relates to where we are now because unfortunately, it doesn't feel like we've really gone um, far off from where we were in 1995. Mm -hmm. So, yeah. That's unfortunate. The stories mm -hmm. are almost still the same. Yes. Uh, but I'm wondering, how about the COVID-19 uh, that hit the world? Did that have, any, or would you say it had any impact on even the movie industry and looking at particularly this remake, what mm. would the impact be? I think it will have an impact mm. because um, I've been um, fortunate to visit a cinema since the relax of the lockdown. And of course, I've seen how um, the owners of the cinema have tried to maintain social distance and um, I think two seats in the middle and one just to create um, the distance. We, and has made us feel like we've forgotten there is a COVID-19, but COVID-19 is still there and mm. people are still testing positive positive and getting better thankfully anyway so i'm hoping that um this doesn't affect the um return on investment for um charles okwaleke and the crew this is directed by ram Sino as well the same person who directed um living in bondage. bondage so i'm hoping that um they would do a lot of pr because I, I don't see it so much out there um i mean it's interesting to have this conversation because we really want something different something sure. that will make people relax and that's why we are plus tv africa decided to have this conversation but i'm yet to see a lot of PR going into Rattlesnake for now, and I hope that they get that right mm. in order to get their money as well. I think the movie itself, you know, does enough publicity, you know, for itself because it was such a huge movie back then mm. in '95. For mm. everyone you still recall what happened in '95? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, so I, I remember, I remember the the emotions that came with the movie. You know, there are certain movies that would always be classics. The, mm -hmm. Right. Um, and don't forget to be regarded as the first attempt um, of Nollywood to do an action movie. Mm. Yeah. So right now, I think we have better cinematography, 
better. Everything is better. So right now they can at least try to get the action parts. Right. <laughs> there, there, there was, I think there was also <laughs> talk about Neka the Pretty Serpent. Um, yes. And Sako B. There's, there's so much. Mm. You know, there's uh, the one by Zion Ministries back then that was yeah, really, let's really not good. Go. Let's, let's, not, let's not go into <laughs> that. But it's also nice to I mention that well. this um, same man would also be working on um, Glamour Girls and Neka the Pretty Serpent. Oh. Um, so that you should mean, probably come um, Charles Okwalike. Okay. We don't know if Ramsinoa would still have to direct Directors. those ones, but okay. Charles, he got the rights, I think, six years ago to remake those movies, so mm. he's taking them one at a time. So let, let me so ask, is, it, is this um, a very sure bet with regards investment in movies? If you bring back classics, is it mm. almost immediately you know, sure that you will make a, a killing financially from it? I think it is, because um, the, the viewers, Nigerians, have yearned for a long time for content that they can relate to when they started hearing what Nollywood is or what filmmaking, home video, like we called it, yes. that feeling we used to get. Um, some, some have the opinion that what we see right now can be very watered down, and it seems like we're trying to copy the Western world. So once they see something that um, seems like it's going to connect them back to their roots or the kind of story they think we should tell, then everybody wants to see it. I, I remember we also had this conversation when Living in Bondage was going to the cinema and we're wondering, will people really want to watch it? But of course, it broke the box office Definitely. and um, it, it made everyone proud. So I think this is um, sure return on investment, but you have to do a good job as well. Right. So you can't take that away from the team and what they do. Mm -hmm. Watch just yeah. movies with VCRs back then. <laughs> <laughs> All the best to you. Uh, but, but Elsie, again, I just wanted to also uh, find out from you that do you think remaking this is also another way of telling our story better and changing the narrative, especially in Hollywood? Hmm. This particular story... Um, it's not all positive, you know, mm. it's about, like I said, the boy who lost the father and had to be forced into a life of crime. Well, from the um, little clips we've seen from the trailer, I think um, the arms of the law caught up with him. Mm. I'm not very particular. I'm not sure. Mm -hmm. um, we're yet to see the movie, but um, it's a story. We can't run away from it. And if that was, if this is what unemployment can lead you to, then maybe our government as well need to start watching uh, movies like that to understand what the impact is when we say we need a job, when we say we want to be able to come out of school and get something reasonable to do, not something that cannot pay the bill. Mm -hmm. Do you understand? Yes. So it just boils back to also reminding ourselves that we need to fix our economy. We need to do things better and also tell our stories without being shy. Right. Anyway. Telling yeah. our stories without being shy. Yeah. I think that yeah. wraps it up Sounds very good. well. <laughs> um, kudos to Charles Okwaleke and um, you know the Play Network and everybody. Um, yeah, um, I'm hoping that they would be able to relieve the memories as much as possible of you know 1995. Um, and not change so much of uh, you know of the story. Mm, I'm know? not forget, forgetting it was also directed by the late virtual Namaka Igwe, so this mm. is right definitely then. a tribute to her. Yeah. Well, yeah. So. so don't yeah. don't disrespect her by, mm, by doing nonsense don't. this time. I'm sure it would. I'm sure it would be great. I'm, I'm very positive <laughs> yes. about there it will being. Be top notch. Um, yes, mm -hmm. exactly. I'm very very sure about. That. I just want you know all you know the memories and all the emotions that come with watching a rattlesnake again. You know to, to come, come back. back. Yeah. Um, and uh, we wish them you know all the best as we say here. <laughs> all right. Thank you, Thank Elsie, you so Thank you for, having for bringing the insight to it. And we are all waiting and to see that the very best Looking comes out of it. it.